Assalamualaikum friends, welcome to my channel. Today our topic is brain hemorrhage. A brain hemorrhage is a type of stroke. It's caused by an artery in the brain bursting and causing localized bleeding in the surrounding tissues. This bleeding kills brain cells. Brain hemorrhage are also called cerebral hemorrhage, intracranial hemorrhage, or intracerebral hemorrhage. It is a severe condition. The person needs immediate medication or treatment. If the person is not subjected to proper treatment in the time, it can result in further complications like loss of brain function and cause coma or death. Now we talk about its causes. There are several risk factors and causes of brain hemorrhages. The most common include number one, head trauma. Injury is the most common cause of bleeding in the brain for those under 50 years old. Number two, high blood pressure. This chronic condition can, over a long period of time, weaken blood vessels. Untreated high blood pressure is a major preventable cause of brain hemorrhage. Number three, aneurysm. This is a weakening in a blood vessel wall that swells. It can burst and bleed into the brain, leading to a stroke. Number 4 Blood Vessel Abnormalities Weakness in the blood vessels in and around the brain may be present at birth and diagnosed only if symptoms develop. Number 5 Amyloid Angiopathy This is an abnormality of the blood vessel wall that sometimes occurs with aging. It may cause many small unnoticed bleeds before causing a large one. Number 6 Blood or Bleeding Disorders Hemophilia and sickle cell anemia can both contribute to decreased level of blood platelets, which can cause brain hemorrhage. Number 7. Liver disease. This condition is associated with an increased risk of bleeding in general. Number 8. Brain tumors. Symptoms of brain hemorrhage. Difficulty speaking or understanding speak. Difficulty swallowing. Difficulty writing or reading. Loss of fine motor skills. Loss of coordination loss of balance, an abnormal sense of taste, loss of consciousness, decreased alternance or lethargy, change in vision, tingling or numbness, a sudden severe headache, seizures with no previous history of seizures, weakness in arm or leg, nausea or vomiting. Diagnosis of brain hemorrhage. There are series of tests that are used to diagnose a condition which is likely to lead a hemorrhage or CT scan which is also called computerized tomography or MRI which is also called magnetic resonance imaging. Scan can help find out where the hemorrhage has occurred. Lumbar puncture. In lumbar puncture we remove the fluid from the subarachnoid space of the lumbar region of the spinal cord for diagnostic purpose. Preventions of brain hemorrhages. Number 1. Controlling blood pressure or hypertension. Number 2. It has been found in a study that around 80% patients have high blood pressure history. Number 3. Have a healthy diet and exercise regularly. Number 4. Mediate daily to keep your mind peaceful. Number 5. Stress can cause overexertion of pain. Number 6. Stop smoking. Number 7. Avoid drugs such as cocaine which can increase the risk of pain disorder. Number 8. To avoid head injury, drive carefully with your seat belt on. Complications of brain hemorrhages Number 1. Death can also occur despite of medication in some cases. Number 2. Loss of movement. Number 3. Inability in communicating. Number 4. Bleeding may occur in digestive system. Number 5. Paralysis. Number 6. Depression. I hope you will like my video. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.